fine so in this session we are going to learn about like how we can convert this particular piece of code into the new syntax using expression based coding so here we have the internal table which is having this field one and field two you can see and in it2 we have again this field one and field two so these are the two different internal table we have we are putting the loop on it1 and reading the data from the it2 based upon the field one of it2 should be equal to the field one of the record first first record of fs1 right so you can can have the look over here and if the data is going to match then the record the same record field 2 we are going to replace with the you know field 2 of the second internal table record right so this is what we have the requirement that means you are going to put the loop on each record and if field 2 uh, if field 1 of this is going to get match with the field 1 of the it2 then whatever the data you have over here that will be coming over here right so here you can see that 5 and 6 is there here you have again 5 and 6 so this 5 and 6 if value will come here and this g value will come here right so in final output you are going to have something like f g c d right this is what this code is doing whenever field one value is going to match uh, whenever field one of it2 is going to get match with the field one of it1 then the corresponding field two value from it2 will be setting over there in the it one internal table one so this is what the requirement that this is the normal code which we have written it over here and the same thing we want to convert using the you know new syntax See here f g c d the output is coming correct this f and g is coming over here and then c and d this is what the output now the same thing you can achieve so he here we are putting this read table then uh, we were checking if size was equal to zero then again we are you know doing this activity and we here we are using the field symbol so that we don't have to use the modify statement and this is really going to be fast because we are using the memory reference the same requirement we can achieve with the help of this code also what actually we are trying to do it over here that loop at internal table this is also not the completely new uh, new syntax but here we are using the table expression in order to achieve this particular requirement right so you can have the look how we are doing we are reading the internal table two uh, with the field one where the record uh, where the field one of the first uh, table getting compared and if it's going to get match then we are getting the value of field two right and putting it over here so this is the table expression we are using just replacing uh, just replacing this part of code with the help of this table expression and if that value is not found then default value is the you know first table that particular record itself that's why we are using the default okay so if if you run this one you know let me put this uh, output related code here you will be able to see that it's going to have the same impact so already that is defined uh, no no i'm not supposed to comment this one i'm supposed to comment this let me comment this and again you will be able to see the same output okay just execute this see here fgcd again you are getting the same output with the help of this also now let's go and use a completely new syntax so this is completely new syntax if you are going to use then 
Let me put it over here. So see, this is for work area in IT1 for each iteration. So using the new syntax, I'm doing this particular loop. Okay. So here, here the latest last solution was this one. So this loop we are just replacing with this for WA1 in IT1. And here we are putting the data. You know? So this is the same code at uh, as we have written it over here, right? This particular piece of code, uh, this particular piece of code, right? So field one is going to remain the same and field two is going to be this one. So very simple, this is going to be your answer. So if you have also the same answer, then fine. If you have not, I will just put it over here and try to, you know, practice in your system. So, if you here we have IT3 as a internal table. So activate this one, activate, and if you press F8, you can see again you are getting the same output FGCD. So this is the new syntax that expression based coding we are using, right? So the beauty of expression based coding is that means you don't have to use this IT3 directly, this value can be used over here you know directly you can use this value over here that is the beauty of expression based coding okay so uh let's come into this so now also like if you see here same output you are getting correct so maybe what i will do that i will put in this code so that you can go and practice yourself. Hope you were able to understand this, just to go and practice. Okay. And uh, maybe the old way, old coding, we also I will put it over here. This one. Conventional way, right? This is the conventional way. And this is the new one. So here directly the code I have written. Okay. Just copying this one and I will paste it over there. So today let's stop it over here.